Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so I just got my second two gallon um, kit of resin from the Total Boat Tabletop. And I wanted, to, I wanted to say something. The other day I think I said that the two gallon kit is $199. That was wrong. It's $120, so big difference. It's $120 for a two gallon kit. Now, if you use our discount code, I just ordered, last week I ordered two more, uh, two more two gallon kits. So that's four gallons. Used our discount code and I saved almost 40 bucks. So that was good. So now what I'm gonna do, I've mixed my color and I wanted it darker. This is a nice green, but it's not the green that I wanted. So you'll see here, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I've made it darker. I wanted a d darker green. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cup and I don't know if you, you might have to come over here. I've got quite a gap here and I don't want air bubbles coming out of this. So what I'm going to do, I, by the way I took a 220 sandpaper all the way around it because you got to give uh, something for the new resin, new top on to uh, adhere to. So what I'm going to do is make a mess. So I'm just going to take a cup of this resin. I'm going to pour it in here. Oh yeah, that's the color I wanted. I'm going to put that in there, let it flow down in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun on kind of a cool heat. And I'm going to blow it down in there. And I see little speckles all over in my resin. I'm not sure what that is. So I'm just going to kind of blow it in there a little bit and see if I can't fill up some of that. Oh, I'm dripping. Fill up some of that gap. I do know what that is. I think you were right. I should have mixed it up a little bit more. There we go again, having to admit that he's right. So that's what that is. That's just chunks of the color. That's all right. Gives it character. Do you want to mix that up a little bit more in the bucket? Yeah, I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. But that's all right. I'll do that in a minute. I want to get this gap kind of filled up in there. And I'm just going to let that go in there. I'm going to pour some more over here. There we go. I thought it was stirred up a lot more than it is, but that's all right. All right, so I'm going to stir this up some more. Yeah, you want to take this? Now? Yeah. Go ahead and just tip it up. All right. Now I am going to, and I'm only pouring two gallons at a time. You guys can see this because that's what I bought. I'm going to mix these. See these speckles here a little bit. And here we go. Okay. 
Yeah, I like this color much better. to have muscles to do this stuff. Which I just don't have. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm going to walk in front of the camera here. Two gallons just don't go as far as you think it will. Nope. <laughs> it's a lot of surface. Can you hand me that one of those sticks over there? Paint sticks? Yes, please. Uh, over there. Yep, that's more my color. That's more what I'm looking for. Now I'm just going to move it around a little bit. We're just curious. Yep. What about the foam that's uh, kind of collected? I'm going to use the heat gun on it. So those basically are just little bubbles? Just little bubbles. But you know, look at, I'm looking over there and we didn't get much bubbles coming through there. Does it look like we filled that? Yeah, thing? I think we Not did. In, uh, in that area? Yep. I've gone through a few of them. <laughs> I think that's the best one you've had so Yeah. I have had my share, let me tell you. Now, so now kind of seeing what it is, what do you think will be your next pour? Are you well, going to do green again? I think I'm going to do one more layer of green, and then I'm going to do my surprise in the middle. Yeah. All right, you guys, so that's what that is. And I'm just going to keep playing with this, keep trying to get my bubbles out, um, keep my swirl going. And then um, we'll be back. I should have more resin hopefully later this week. And then we'll be doing some more. Probably another layer of green. And then after that, I'll do my surprise in there. And then um, after that, it'll just be clear. So, thanks for watching. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. And we've always said we don't edit. Um, we'll fix our mistakes on camera. And I've also said many, many times there is not much that could go wrong with resin that can't be fixed. I still believe that, even though. <laughs> Let me give you a um, lesson learned. Do not use packing tape to line your tables. Don't use packing tape. Do not use packing tape. Do not use packing tape. Here's why. The packing tape heated through both layers, the one that I just poured and the one we poured the other day, it heated up everything and just peeled up. And so we have been scrambling um, getting the tape up and I'm this is all I believe is going to be fixable I'm going to do a lot of sanding a lot of work 
whether we show that or not I'm not sure but but I want to show you I'm gonna come over here with my strip o tape <laughs> and a lot of wasted resin and a lot of hot so this is it look at that that tape lifted off you can see how thick that resin is it's still hot we had to pull that up off of this corner as much as we can, scrape as much as we can off the wood because it's strung up all over the wood, all over the table, all over my shirt, um, and uh, put it in the box. So there you go. So yeah. with that, there you go. That's all right. That's okay. It's lesson learned. I could stress out. I could freak out. I'm not going to because I'm not convinced that I can fix it. It may take some work, some sanding, some maneuvering, whatever it takes, it doesn't matter. Um, I can fix this. This is my table. This is my mistakes. I'm learning. Um, and I will learn, I've learned that we never use packing tape. So, with that. Um, well, there was resin and you can still see. You can still see there's all resin. resin up here. Right this here. here was pretty much covered. We scraped. He didn't scraped it off. Um, but again, you guys live and learn. That's, you know, that's how I learn. So um, I'm, this has all got to dry. I'm going to give this a couple of days and then I'm going to come out and I'm going to sand on it. I'm going to see what I can do and I think I can save it I really really do um, and again it's my table so everything that happens with my table is just memories that's going to go into my um, my heirloom <laughs> so um, anyway guys well and it's a lesson for you guys. it is a, yeah it's a lesson for you guys just uh, so you know what not to do but anyway so um, I wasn't gonna show it and then Eric and I talked about it and we said we need to show it so that we can show that we, we make a lot of mistakes that we can fix them and hopefully help you guys from making the same mistake so We'll see you in a couple of days when this dries and we come back and, try, or excuse me, I come back <laughs> and try to fix it, guys. So anyway, just thought I'd share. See you later. Okay, guys, we are back. Welcome back. So on the last video, I told you about my fiasco. Let's put it that way. So I think... And again, I am not a professional, you guys. This is my table, my practice piece. So understand where I'm coming from. I want you to look at this corner where we talked about how it was all messed up. I sanded it. Basically, I just roughed it because this green is going to come right back over the top of this and it will cover this. Fingers crossed, Lord willing. Um, and... Uh, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that this is my last layer of green, and then after that, we'll move on. But, so we've mixed up again two gallons of the green, and uh, here we go. So again, this is a uh, total boat? This is total boat, yep. And it's total the, boat tabletop. The tabletop. Yes. So, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Maybe that's just the way it feels. I can't see. Looks like a pretty, pretty close match to your other color. I hope so. 
All right. That's that. Now, I've got my little spreaders. These work much better than the stir sticks. <laughs> So uh, I think you had mentioned before that you thought you might have overmixed. I think so I did. did. You make an That's this time? did. Um, so I think that was a big problem. I think what happened was when we were mixing it, I mixed it for four minutes. The last, the last layer, the one that was destructo layer, um, mixed it for four minutes, and then. Once we put the, the pigment in, I think we mixed it for like another three or four minutes. And I think it was just overmixed, overheated, and a horrible mess. So I think that's what happened. This thing is pretty awesome. This is just a, what is that, uh, what's that dessert we like? <laughs> Creme brulee? Creme brulee torch. Yep. Now see, if you look over there, that cupboard. Yeah. So, Lord willing, I'll just keep on uh, doing what I'm doing and pray that it works. I have to tell you guys though, I was almost in tears the other day when I poured it and it did what it did. So. Yeah, it was a stressful moment. Yeah, so I don't want to do that again. I could use a heat gun, but I don't want to blow the resin all over the place. I want the resin to stay where it's at. I think that's probably about it. Yeah, um, guys, we're almost to the point. Now I'm looking at this. I may do one more layer of green. I'm not sure. What do you well, that's much like that. I gotta say that looks pretty. Sweet. Now right I'm now. gonna actually. You're gonna do your scroll thing? I am. I gotta go over here and get me a stick. you get it all swirled and we get this thing ready to to cover we uh, will be right then, then back, we'll come back. Does yeah that, sound good? that sounds good are you on me or you're on okay oh <laughs> hi <laughs> so knock on wood we have so far success so check out this corner this was our trouble corner and it did what I wanted it to. I'm not going to count my chickens yet, but so far, so good. And um, now we're gonna cover it up. We're gonna put the boards across it and cover it with that big shower curtain that I have just to keep any dust from getting on it. Uh, I'm gonna go over it another time with the, with the torch. Just, I see some bubbles kind of in the light there. And then when we come back, we're gonna move on to the next step. Ouch, that's hot. Um, the next step, again, it's an experiment, so we're gonna see what happens. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and um, keep watching for the next step. We'll see you guys later, bye.